did you hear about me? Me and what I Hello. This is a short uh, video tutorial on exploring how to do tables in Active Inspire. Uh, tables are a little bit tricky because uh, basically the option you have is to draw the table first. And to draw a table is very simple. Um, we start with a shape. You know, it could be a rectangle. And we draw the rectangle, uh, usually an empty rectangle, and then we just draw the lines to make up our table. Now I'm speeding up here a little bit the video, but you can see it's just a uh, horizontal uh, lines and then we go with our vertical lines and you kind of plan ahead what you want your table to look like. And uh, here we just add and and paint over kind of like the, our cells so that they look, you know, interesting and the way we want it to look. Finally, we can start adding the elements to each cell. In this case, we're adding text, and um, we're there. I mean, that's our that's our table. We can add the elements in the individual cells that we have. Now, another way of working would be to do a table in a different program, like Word, for example, which is very good for tables. Uh, we go to Word and we insert a table. Uh, we can insert, um, you know, let's do a 3 by 5 And with Word, it's, I mean, working with tables in Word is very easy. Uh, add your text, it formats it. You can, you know, raise the, the size, arrange the width of the columns, and you can even style your table a little bit, you know, give it, give it some interesting colors. Now, the problem is that the only way to get it to Active Inspire is by taking a picture of it. So we go with our desktop tools and we use the camera tool to uh, take a picture of our table and uh, insert it into the flip chart page that we're working on. So when we go back to Active Inspire, we'll see that our our table has been inserted there and there we can just stretch it reposition it now the downside here is that this is an image so we can't really work with the elements on the table similar if we work for example with something like PowerPoint we can create a table in PowerPoint in very much a similar way as we do in Word and style it add the text and then copy paste it the, the good thing is that we don't have to take a picture of it. From PowerPoint, we actually can copy-paste, but we, but we can style our table and then copy-paste it into our flip chart. The downside, again, similar to Word, is that what well, we paste, so we copy, and in Active Inspire we paste, and what we paste is an image of the table. So we can't really interact with the elements in that image, but it looks good. Actually, out of the three options, I think it's the best looking one. Um, so those are basically three ways. Draw it, create it in Word, take a picture of it, create it in PowerPoint, and um, paste it. Another way from the resource library, there's a templates section. If you don't have it, I'll, I'll link to the file the way you can get it to your library. And there you have a lot of uh, predefined templates that you can use. Now, with the predefined templates, you'll need to do some editing, right? In this case, for instance, there's some text at the top that I, it's not really important to me, doesn't work for me, so I'll have to delete it. And then it's missing a few things. It's missing the the rows that I need so I'm just going to draw the rows. Now it's very similar to drawing um, a table on the flip chart but I already I start with something that's already made. So basically four ways draw it from scratch, Word, PowerPoint or use something from the resource library and adapt it to your flip chart. I want to show you a last way of uh, adding tables. This is something I did, and I'm going to share this file with you. And basically what it is, it's a, it's a table builder, kind of like automatic. So what you do is you click on the 
uh, circles to add lines uh, to your table so you know then you can hide the control buttons and you have a table done in a quick way uh, you can color the whole surface but you can't color individual cells so that's about it um, I hope that this uh, tools work for you uh, if you have any questions or you want to learn to do something specific in Active Inspire, you can write to me and I'll, I can do a little video for, for whatever it is that you want to learn. Thank you very much and have a good day.